those work. fucking resolution. Does not bode well for this game if programmers can't do something simple like that. Now we're stuck playing it like this. Empire, United Nations of Earth, Direct Democracy, holds an election every five years to select a new ruler, your skill level is plus one, leader recruitment cost minus ten, Xenophile, Xenophobia minus ten percent. There exists in all of, wow, that, that uh, music is fucking loud. bring you down here. Couldn't even hear myself. There exists in all of us a deep-seated fascination for the unknown and adventurous spirit that rejects the familiar and glories of the familiar. That doesn't describe anything. That's just crap. Fanatic individualist. Plus 20 energy credit. Jesus Christ, I turned the music down. What the fuck? Alright, we'll turn it back up once I get the fucking things going. Jesus. Quick learners. Leader experience gain plus 25%. Nomadic. Creation time 50% less. Settlement cost is minus 30. Missiles. Warp travel. Ban. Been sponsored Ulysses Initiative where we saw the construction of six great art ships in low Earth orbit at the end of the 21st century. Ships were fitted with powerful but unstable wormhole generators and sent towards distant stars carrying a quarter million colonists each. None were heard from again, and research into subspace wormholes was soon abandoned. Yet, unbeknownst to Earth, one of the Ark ships made it to a lush alien moon and established a flourishing colony. In this world, we're determined to realize humanity's manifest destiny. Any of the galaxy at any cost. Head lasers. Travel. Militarist. 20 alliance influence cost plus 100. Every influence gain. Very materialized. Then Empire. Billion. Collectivists, military dictatorship, a free tolerance plus 50%, food consumption by ethnic militarists, strong, talented, adaptive. Drivers and warp travel. Avians, King 
Kingdom of Yandarim. Mine mandate. Slave tolerance plus 50% resettlement costs. Pacifists, fanatic spiritualists. Are the talented, solitary, natural physicists? Hyperspace travel. The Ixeldar Star Collective. The robotic hegemony. Hegemony. Arthropods. Spotic hegemony. Imperialist. Manic collectivists. Rapid breeders. Communal. Pugnant. Drawn. Ash drivers. Hyperspace travel. Have the Chinor. Stellar Union, Science Directorate, Molluscoids, Science Directorate, Individualists, Fanatic Materialists, they are Industrious, Repugnant, and Oops, Red Lasers, Hyperspace Travel, Dominion, peaceful bureaucracy, they're fungoids. Peaceful bureaucracy holds an election every 40 to 50 years to select a new ruler. Collectivists, fanatical pacifists, slow breeders, thrifty. Sildari, Sil the Sildari. Confederacy. Direct democracy, mammalian. Imperialist. Pacifists. Unifile. They're charismatic. Solitary. Natural engineers. Quickly. Yips, da, da, da. Create a new one. Let's uh, let's just go random. Do what we got because we're just using this as kind of a, like like a learning. Randomize the empire and go. Galaxy size medium six hundred stars. Shape elliptical. AI empire seventeen. Do I want that many? But I like to explore a lot before. Let's knock it down to like. Seven, us and seven others, and this does have a, a multiplayer aspect too, so you can play a multiplayer. And apparently, it's cross-platform, so I believe there's. I don't know if it's out now, but supposedly it'll be out on either Xbox or PlayStation. Cross. So PC players can play with PlayStation players, etc. Advanced AI starts. That mean. This controls how many of the regular AI empires will start with an initial advantage in resources, technology, and population. They do not gain any additional bonuses besides a stronger starting position. This setting does not affect fallen empires. I'll start on the same difficulty normal. Allow FTL method any and mode. Iron Man mode, console cheats are disabled, and the game is automatically saved regularly to a single file. Like with this setting, there is no turning back. Um, I don't remember that being one of the races. <laughs> The Bhuvdan Empire. Fine mandate. Ruler is Hingorf the first. Species Bhuvhondan. FTL method warp travel. Capital of Bhuvdania. Ethics collectivists. Fanatic spiritualists. 
Move Dons have a trait of Industrious, Minerals plus 15, and Continental Preference. Tropical and Ocean. Continental habitability. Habitability. In the eon since the first primitive Bovhundan. Bovhundan. Buvondan. Bovhundan. I think Buvondan sounds better. Communities took shape in the grassy savannas of Buvondia. Vondania. Vondania. Our civilization has spread and prospered. Many false prophets took it upon themselves to offer spiritual guidance to our people as we advanced through the ages. But the true faith prevailed. The last heathen strongholds were vanquished after several bloody crusades, uniting us under the holy will of a single divine leader. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the Buvondan Empire have finished a development of the first warp tribes. The stars themselves are finally within our Blessings upon you, your holiness. I am Vera, a prototype synthetic intelligence. The priesthood has ordained me to act as your faithful servant and advisor so that I may aid you on our divine path to the stars. Hey, Veer, give me a second. I want to turn the sound back up. Turn the music down. There. That sounds good. You can change the tutorial level at any time in the settings menu. Uh, tell us everything, because we're just starting out. We're complete noobs. An excellent decision. You will have my full support. Good to know. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. First mission is to fully survey our home system. I have added it as an entry to the situation log. To access it, click on the situation log button in the left section of the top bar or press F5. Contacts, ship design, situation log. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Tutorial Survey Home System. We need to fully explore our home system before venturing out into the galaxy. To do this, select our science ship either by clicking on the ship itself or by selecting the vessel in the outliner. Then click on the survey button in the fleet interface and select a non-surveyed planet near your home world. Your science ship will now plot a course to survey all planetary bodies within the system. This is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. To pull it, put it to work, simply right click on a not yet surveyed planetary body and select survey system. The ship will then travel between all objects in the system and survey them each in turn. Surveying other planets may also uncover ones that are 